to my studio. Today we are going to learn how to paint watercolor leaves and leaves are my favorite thing to paint. I feel like it's the one thing that um, I can paint without thinking. I don't need to think about composition as much and I can just paint and it takes me to a place where I don't need to think about all the anxieties and stress in my life. I love painting leaves and I hope to show you guys some tips today that um, will make it easier for you to learn as well. Alright, to get started we're going to use um, the Princeton Round size 8, um, the Velvet Touch today, and I'm using the Arches Cold Press Paper, 140 pound. Um, this is my favorite paper that I use, um, especially for final pieces, and I use um, a cheaper version called Canson for um, most of my doodling. So. To get started, we're gonna wet our brush, and today I'm mixing some sap green with um, burnt umber. Adding a bit of Payne's Gray to it. So the key to leaves is to um, use the point of your brush and the belly of your brush, which I will show you here. Um, so you're gonna start with, um, let's see here, you're gonna start with the point and you're gonna press down and pull up. Let's try that again. Point, belly of your brush, pull up. Point, belly of your brush, pull up. I should have added a little bit of more water. Um, so I'll go back in and fill that in. Ooh. So this is how you make a basic leaf shape. Um, fairly simple. Um, and I encourage you to just practice this over and over again. Don't be afraid to press hard on your brush. Your bristles are very sturdy and will form back into its point. Sometimes it won't release all the water and so you'll just go back in and fill it in. The harder you press, the um, more full of a leaf you'll get. So moving on, we're gonna do a two-step leaf that I love to use. And this one, we're just using the same techniques that you learned here, um, using the belly of your brush, the point to belly, back to point. And we're gonna go back to this side and pull it in like that. So this is um, where you can choose to leave the white spot or you can fill in most of it. Um, I typically like to leave the white spot um, in the, the white line in the middle. So just give it some separation and variety. Now sometimes it is easier to pull towards you instead of um, pushing the brush away. So I'll show you how to do that here. Um, again, you're gonna start out with a point Press down and pull up. Um, it might be a little hard to see with my hand in the way here, but um, point, belly of the brush, pull up. And with leaves, you'll just have to play around and come up with your own styles. Um, it just Everyone is so different and each leaf is so different. And that's how it should be too. In nature, there are no two leaves alike. And so I encourage you to keep that in mind when you're painting and not get frustrated with um, not perfect leaves. So again, we're just gonna keep practicing. 
and trying different things. To get a loose leaf um, in this style, I typically like to think of myself as dancing with the brush. And so just see how I'm moving back and forth quite a bit. Just don't be afraid to pick up your brush and add little strokes. The white, the white in your leaves is what adds dimension and shadow. And you can always come back in and add a little bit of dark. Next, I'd like to show you um, a little bit of how you can make a branch with your leaves. I'm gonna just use this color that I had mixed. It's the Sap Green with Burnt Umber and Payne's Gray. And I'm just gonna make a stem using the tip of my brush. And um, again, I'm gonna work towards me this time. This is something where you're just gonna have to practice and see which um, style works best for you, pulling towards you or away from you. I feel like that's an individual choice on which is easiest. And I also like turning my paper so that um, that helps, that makes it a lot easier for me. Right, and um, I'm gonna pull my size four brush here and show you guys what it looks like with just a smaller brush, size four, the Princeton Round Velvet Touch. I, I think the Velvet Touch are my favorite just because they keep their point a lot better um, versus the 4050 series, which is um, this one. So as you can tell, it's um, basically the same with just smaller leaves and um, it just doesn't hold as much paint, which is, um, yeah, to be expected since it's a smaller brush. So um, this is something that you can um, create using leaves is just this simple um, stem. And I think this looks beautiful just sitting on the, bookshelf or something like that. So I thought I'd show you guys how to do that. Um, I'm using the um, mixture that I've talked about earlier in the video. So you're going to want to start with just um, a stem in the middle. For this particular style, I am pushing my brush away from me for the first half, and then the second half, I'm pulling it towards me. And there, I did both away from me. So again, it's just personal preference and um, lots of practice. All right, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on learning how to um, paint leaves. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and like this video.